What's up, y'all? Hey. Buy you a phone? Wait a minute. How you gonna come in here talking about buy you a phone? That's how you gonna greet me? Is that how you gonna greet me? Buy you a phone? Don't do that. Don't do that, honey. Talking about me buy you a phone? I guess I look like the bank. I think everybody think I'm the bank. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Sunkey Angel. What's up? What's up? What it do? What it do? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Hey. Hey. Hey, y'all. I wanted to jump on here to talk to my aliens, honey. Yes. Hey, Tanisha. Hey. What's going on? Thank you. Love the hair on you. You rocking the plat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank. Yes. Yeah, so we're we're in the process of filming a lot of content and things of that nature around this single that I'm dropping tomorrow. I wanted to jump on here to let you guys know that this single is about to go dummy. It's about to go dummy. Do you hear me? I'm in my Marilyn Monroe slash Madonna-ish blonde because this is the theme I'm rolling with for this single. You know, the front cover is going to be sickening. It's going to be fucking sickening. When I tell you, bitch, it's going to be sickening. It's going to be sickening, bitch. When I tell you this front cover about to be sickening, bitch, it's going to be fucking sickening. It's going to be sickening. You know what I mean? Thank you, Byron. Hey, Byron. What's up? What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to be sick then. Um, so this single is, I'm definitely going in a different direction with this single here. Um, because like I said, this is my first time doing a pop song and I don't want to give y'all too much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm also planning on doing a music video and I don't know if I want to do like I feel like I want to get some Vogas. I might do like a uh, cast and call or something for like Vogas. I need Vogas because the video is going to be fucking crazy. And when I tell you at the end of this song, it's going to fucking carry, bitch. It's going to carry. It's going to carry. I'm like, it's dragging me by my own skull, okay? It's that good. And I ain't saying it because it's my song. Y'all know I have a great ear for music, so... It's a certain direction I'm trying to go. We're in a different time right now. If you look at Beyonce and everybody who's in that wave of the LGBT community, and it's all, it was already inside of me, you know what I mean, as an artist. So it's just like I'm right on time. I feel like I'm just arriving right on time. You know what I mean? Um, you should do like something with runway. Yes. Yes. I need vulgars. I need vulgars. People who can vogue their ass off who want, you know, a little bit of or a lot bit of exposure. Um, strictly business, you know, people, yeah, this business, you know what I mean? I want to work with people who can come in and get the job done. You know what I mean? That's it. Okay. It's professionalism. You know, I just want to keep it professional. Um, I'm only saying that because I've had some crazy experiences in the past. I don't really care to talk about it now because I'm in a different place. I'm just in a different place. I can feel the energy is changing. It's not, things are happening. I can't even explain it. Believe me, things are changing. Um, but I feel like I have to kind of like put some disclaimers out there now and paperwork when it comes to certain things. Because that's business. You know what I mean? I had to learn. I used to do things. and just You know how it would pull everybody in together. But I learned that bit me in the ass a couple times. So I'm definitely willing to work with people who want to do this. Because this song, I'm telling you, once you hear it, you're going to see. You're going to see. At the, end, at the end of this song, it's going to definitely give very much um, ballroom and vogue and things of that nature. So... Um, yes, I don't really know how many I need right now, um, but I definitely need vulgars. I need some badass vulgars. Um, this is going to be very much giving very much ballroom, house, dance house, pop, all of that in one thing. So I think it would be great because the mu this is not going to be the music video I'm dropping tomorrow. I'm just going to drop a few, um, you know, just a few like little content here and there and stuff like that promoting the single and I'm gonna also drop a video just kind of letting everybody know that I'm gonna do the um the dress up challenge 
as well. So on TikTok and stuff like that. But yes, that would be awesome. You know, Byron, if you want to chime in, that would be dope. That would really be dope. Um, so yeah, I think that would be dope. I think that really would be dope. Um, I'm just kind of letting the universe kind of like just do what it's do do it do what it does. You know what I mean? You know. Um, my heart is pure. My heart is in the right place. It's always been in the right place. So I just want to make good music and I want to involve people really I want to fuck with my people you know what I mean I really really jank from the soul from the soul I want to fuck with my people it's just I've been through so much shit it's scary sometimes you know what I mean but I want to fuck with my people I've never been the type to like create and want to hog the spotlight I've always wanted to like pull people in you know what I mean like bitch get over here you get in the front let me get in the back for a second get in the front I want to let other people shine you know what I mean this is not just about me um, it's never been about me, honestly. Um, I think at times that has been, it's worked for me and against me at times as well, though. So that's why I'm saying it's like I'm learning to disclaim and just kind of like let people know what I want to do going forward as far as business and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be, it's going to carry now. I'm telling you. It's, it's yes, very much genuine. I just want to. I want to fuck with the community and just, you know what I mean, turn shit out. Because I'm telling you, baby, when I fucking tell you the end of this song, I feel like when the Vogas hear this shit, when they hear it, everybody going to be voguing. 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 When I tell you motherfucking Donald Trump going to be voguing, bitch. When I tell you motherfucking Martin Luther King going to get out of his grave and start voguing. He, it's going to be it. Listen, when I tell Michael Jackson finna be voguing, bitch. When I fucking tell you, bitch, Prince finna be voguing, bitch. When I tell you I'm about to bring Prince out the motherfucking coffin, out the grave. Everybody finna be fucking voguing. Every, I'm, it's that good. It's good. It's good. I'm just joking around. But no, it's, it's good. It's good. And it's a feel good song. And I want to make people feel good and smile and um specifically like i said y'all know i always talk about the lgbt community because we go through so much and it's specifically trans people gay people we go through so much and we're under attack so much by so many people so we need artists like me we need artists like you know all the other artists that are working out there we need people like ts madison we need we need people who are empowered to use our platforms to make more of us feel good and to to liberate more and to know that there are people that's you know in our sector creating waves and pioneering so that we can continue to trailblaze and open up that door for others to come behind us. You know what I mean? So when I tell you this is a genuine record and it is a feel good record, it's a feel good pop. I can't even believe I actually did a song like this, honestly, because I I don't know. I just didn't think I would go the pop direction. You know what I mean? But here I am going pop. So Following this will be my EP um, entitled Going Mainstream. So make sure you guys look out for that as well. I don't have a date for that yet, but Going Mainstream, it's going to carry. Going Mainstream, it's going to carry. Yes, yes, it's going to carry. So y'all make sure y'all look out for Going Mainstream. Um, we don't have a date, like I said, but it's coming. We're, we're in the process of getting all the music and getting paperwork done. And for the ones I know, because we already had a few people asking on TikTok, trying to be funny. As y'all know, certain people do, but it's all good. It comes with the territory. I'm talking about, did you get the song cleared through Madonna's people? Because, you know, her lawyers don't play. Nope. Listen, and wrong answer. Me and my team over here at Sony Music, we already hunted and went through the proper chain of command. This is my first time actually going through the proper chain of command. This way, the legal way, getting things cleared um, business-wise. Like I said, it's important to make sure your paper trail is right so that people can see you come in a proper way. As you guys know, which I thought was also strange, was, you know, I had an issue with Sony Music because I did a remix to Little Nas X Down South Troll, Down South Holes. And then I dropped Down South Troll after that because I kind of felt like what they did was a little too excessive because even though his song is not out yet, it was coming from a good place. And I didn't put the song out to sell, of course, because that's not my song. I would never do that. I'm an artist myself. I wouldn't want nobody to do me like that. I support, as you can hear me saying, I support other artists in the LGBT community. I'm not a shady bitch. I'm not trying to take no food out of nobody else's mouth. I want everybody to eat, but it's enough room for everybody to eat. And I think that I really, honestly, call myself trying to show Lil Nas love and just, you know what I mean? Just 
really trying to pump the record up because it's a hot record. I love the record. So I did a remix to it and I put it out with a music video and we went in. It was dope. You know what I mean? Talking my shit and it was it was genuine. Um, and Sony Music pulled the plug on that shit and pulled it off my two, pulled two videos off of my um, YouTube channel. And then I decided to drop down South Troll talking my shit just like letting them know because it's like why? You know what I mean? Like I'm not I mean, I get it. You know what I mean? I understand the business aspect of you have to get permission and stuff like that. But I I mean, it's to me, I felt like it was no more than what they do on a mixtape. Like I said, like when people do remixes to other artists songs on re, on mixtapes, you know, they don't put the song out of sale. It's just them rapping over that person's beat. That's what I did. So I felt like it was a little excessive. So I dropped down South Troll and they couldn't fuck with that. But we actually have Sony Music now behind us, and they cleared this song. So that's awesome. Sony Music cleared this single. Me being able to use Madonna's melody for Dress Up. Because her song is called Dress You Up, for the ones who don't know. She released the song back in 1984. Um, that was four years before I was born. And then I dropped... Um, you know, I'm, I'm dropping now. Dress up. Dress up. And I'm saying I'm going to dress up and hit the club. Because that's what we finna do. We finna dress up, honey. We finna feel good. We finna pump it up. We finna feel good. And, and, and embrace ourselves, you know. Feel good music is very important. Like, that's why I love Beyonce so much. Because she's done so much for the LGBT community as well. And she's making us all embrace ourselves even more. We need more of that. And this time where spaces are not so safe for us to be sp to be safe. So... My music is about safe, safety, and feeling good, bringing people together, and all of that. You know what I mean? Honestly. All that other shit, ain't nobody got time for. If, if you're watching me and you're on my page and you fake pages and all the type of stuff. When I say I'm in a different place, I, I'm in a whole different place. I, because I know now that where I give my attention is power. I know who I am. And I know that certain places I cannot give my attention to. Like, unless I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely feel like I need to. Sometimes I respond. But now I'm very careful of my responses because I know that my energy is currency. Where I give energy, I'm giving them my currency. I'm, I'm, I'm valuable. These other people who come for me, they're not, value, they're not valuable. Because they're spending all their time literally spending, not with an S, with a money sign. They're spending all of their time trying to off me and my head and my mentality and my mental health trying to come for my mental health and I don't see them. We on a whole nother mission. Positive vibes. I ain't gonna let nobody play with me but I'm just at a different place. Okay? Because I know elevation is, is here and things are about to, to happen in a great fashion for me so I have to redirect my attention and focus on what really matters right now. And what really matters to me the most is my mental health. My physical health. It's been very rocky. It's been beautiful. It's been ugly. It's been painful. And when I say painful, I'm talking about the deepest, most darkest depths of pain. It's been uncertain. It's been scary. It's been traumatic and I'm talking about my life it's been it's been very much um very very blurry at times but I'm I'm trying my best to embrace all of that knowing that even though I might experience those moments they don't define me even the happiness don't define me and I try not to let people's praise define me as well because just as well as people can praise you they can tear you down so I try not to even get too attached to that because people will flip on you in one minute they'll be loving you and the next they'll hate you and I've seen it time and 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 time again and time and time again and time like I've seen it I've seen it so I try not to get too attached to people's praise and you know hey what's going on hey um who was that I'm sorry, Gemini. Sorry, I got so caught into what I was saying. I didn't recognize you, but I want to recognize everybody that's coming in right now. I'm promoting my new single that's dropping tomorrow. 
my new pop record, Dress Up. Shout out to Madonna. Let me shout out. Let me shout out the queen. Let me shout out a real queen. Shout out to Madonna. I know I've never had the opportunity to meet Madonna, but this song is paying homage to her. And I just want to say, Madonna, if you see this, because I feel like this song is going to get to you, which I'm hoping anyway. Um, I just hope this song gives you a big boom of nostalgia. I hope that this song reignites something in you that maybe you may not have felt in a long time. I know we're all human beings. We all go through things. Nobody's life is perfect. And just because you're Madonna, I'm sure your life is not perfect. But I hope that this song makes you feel really good on the inside. I hope this song is healing to a part of you and your being. I hope that this song is a reminder that even though the ones who try to overlook your greatness, there are people who are in a different demographic and a different time who is willing to give you your flowers. And me being 35, I want you to know that I love you and I'm thankful that you have inspired this record. So um, I hope that I really hope that I feel like she's gonna probably see it. If this song get if this song gets big enough, I feel like she's definitely gonna she's definitely gonna see it. And you know, I know she's going on tour and stuff like that soon. Um, so yeah, that'll be awesome. Uh, that'll be awesome. I love her. Listen, I love her to pull me on stage, trying to come up there and get up there with the queen, honey. That that would be epic. That would be fucking epic. That would be some epic shit. So yeah, you know, I think you know she's she's you know. Reliving, she's gonna be reliving, reliving some of her greatest moments. So I did this song to add on to that. You know what I mean? As a talented artist and being a transgender woman, and I just wanted her to know that I'm thankful and I'm 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 appreciative of her energy and what she has contributed to the music industry. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Like I said, I'm going in a whole different direction. This is my first pop single as Sankey Angel, and this is why, like I said, I got my hair given that Madonna, Marilyn Monroe type of tease because this is a theme I'm going to go for. I just cannot wait for you guys to see the cover tomorrow. The cover, the cover, the cover. The song might already be out for some of y'all because y'all know at 12 o'clock in certain places the song will come out. So y'all might already have the song on iTunes, um, Spotify. It's probably already out. But when I wake up and get up and that's when I really want to go hard. So because I need to rest, but I have a lot to do. So yeah, the life of Sunky Angel, bitch. Don't get it twisted. It's a lot to do, a lot of work. Um, so yeah. So just make sure you guys tap in to this, to this new single. Stream, stream, stream. I'm going to try to get this, the dance, no, the dress up challenge going on TikTok. Possibly. I think I want to see what y'all can come up with. We're going to do the damn thing. Let's see what it does. The vulgars, I definitely want the people who vogue in the ballroom scene to get a piece of it and just have fun, like I said. So, shout outs to all the vulgars. Shout outs to Kevin Jay Z, Prodigy. Shout outs to, um, shout outs to Beyonce. Shout outs to Beyonce. Shout outs to Beyonce. When I tell y'all, I've never ever heard a crowd. Let me tell y'all, let me, I gotta stop the music for this. Let me tell y'all something. I have never in my whole entire fucking life, I have, let me, let me straighten this up because I gotta say this. Hold on. I have never in my whole 35 year years of living have heard a crowd that fucking loud. When I tell you Beyonce reshifted my motherfucking wig for real, bitch. When I tell you that bitch shifted my fucking wig. Beyonce, let me tell you something. Queen, you motherfucking queen. Bitch, I have never, ever ever heard a crowd that loud in my fucking life it scared me let me let me listen that crowd that came to los angeles baby on the fourth of her birthday i have never that crowd spooked me when she first hit that stage, i ain't never seen nothing like it I ain't never heard nothing like it the crowd was literally roaring it was a monster okay i'm very inspired I'm very inspired. The queen definitely inspired me. She def she she always has, but she definitely inspired me for sure. She definitely did. Watch this up. See, that's what happens when you I gotta get this wig together, y'all. But anyway. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just want you guys to know that I'm dropping a single. The single's gonna be fucking crazy. 
Um, all the aliens out there, y'all know I call y'all my aliens because I am the trans alien, the one and only. Um, just know that we're, 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 we're in a different dimension. We're moving. We're going up. Elevation, elevation, elevation. And sometimes elevation requires separation. It's nothing personal. It's just elevation mentally, physically, spiritually. And I'm growing in so many different It's scary. It's scary in a good way, a good scary. That it's like I'm, I'm just so focused and I'm trying to be in a certain mind frame. I'm not trying to be. I don't have the, the desire to be in a low frequency. I'm trying to elevate in every sense of the word, spiritually, physically, mentally, and all of that. So um, that's what it is. We're not trying. That's what we're doing. Um, and certain things I know it's going to require me not to respond to. It's going to be, it's, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. I can't respond to everything. Nope. You can't respond to everything. Some things you can, but not everything. Not to say that I responded to everything, but I know at one point it, I had to, I had to respond. And some people don't, won't understand that. I had to line bitches up literally and, and I had to respond. But I'm at a place now where I've said pretty much everything that I've needed to say. And I'm not going to be a fucking broken record. They know. They know. They know. For the ones who need to know, they know. For the ones who I'm good with, we good. You know what I mean? Ain't no pressure. Never was no pressure. How people take me, how people perceive me, that's not my business. That's not my responsibility. And it's not the truth. The truth is who I say I am. The truth is literally the, what you see. The truth can't be them saying certain things about me, but they're the ones, you know, antagonizing all of it. And I'm over here chilling and I'm working. They want me to respond so that I can look like what they say I am. They want you to respond so you can look like what they say you are. Stop responding to everything. Understand that your attention is your currency. Don't give away your currency. Don't. You are valuable depending on who you are. And if you know who you are, you got to know who you are. So, anyway, other than that, yes, that's what I'm talking about. I'm here to keep it 100. Not only with you all, but with myself first. Um, like I said, it's, it hasn't been pretty and I'm not going to make this shit look pretty all the time. It's, 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 it's not a vibe all the time. It's not bitch. It's not a vibe all the time. I wish, but life, if you know, like I know can be up and down. It's a roller coaster. It's about balance. So I'm showing you all and I'm teaching you all about balance and being okay with that. You can't have good without the bad. You can't have bad without the good. So you might as well accept it all and just roll with the punches and keep it the fuck moving and stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay fucking focused. Because some of y'all might be off track right now. You're distracted. Get back on track. Get back on track. Get back on track. Hey. Get back on track. Get back on track. Get back on track. You, you losing focus. Get back on track. I know what it's like. I know. Been there a few times. Get back on track. You got things to do. You got things to do. You got things to do. Don't let the distractions of this world, don't let the distractions of other people, don't let your ops, whoever, family, whoever, you might have to cut them off for a while. I don't know. I don't really know. You might have to cut them off. I don't really know. But you have to focus on you for a change. Make sure you're okay. Are you okay? Make sure you're okay. Make sure you okay. Make sure you okay. Because a lot of y'all ain't okay. At one point, I wasn't okay. At times, I'm not okay. You know? At times, I'm not. I, I have my moments. But what's important is to know that, like I said, those moments don't define you as a person. Those moments don't define you. Don't let your those moments define you, your whole being. It's a moment. It's a moment. So... Anyway, I'm about to get off. I'm not trying to be on here long-winded. You love the new song? You heard the new song? Come through. Yes. 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 See, it's out. It's 11 o'clock over here in Los Angeles. So, it's at the 12th in other places. So, the song might be out, y'all. The song is out. The song is already out, honey, because it is 12 a.m., past 12 a.m. in some places. Y'all better run to iTunes. Yes. Get into it. Get into it. Hi, Trudy. What's going on? What is going on tonight or this morning? We working, honey. Y'all better get into this down. Listen, y'all better get into this dress up pop single because it is a hit. It is. It's a hit. And we paying homage to Madonna. 
we vogue and we doing all of that. So if y'all are, y'all better get into it. Y'all better get into it. Get into it. Yes, Lord. Y'all better get into it, honey. Anyway. What the hell was that? I don't know what that was. But anyway. Sound like something had failed. But um, yes, make sure y'all stream this new pop record. Because I'm telling y'all, believe me, we finna get this thing popping. We like I said, we don't have the video yet, but just know the video where we're gonna I'm, we're getting everything. I'm trying to get everything together on that. But I can't wait for y'all to see the cover. The cover art is, is bomb, 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 bomb dot com. Yeah. So anyway, I'm about to go. I love y'all so much. Shout out to all my aliens, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay. Bye.